I wanted to title this poor financial habits. So I decided to title it poor financial habits. <coughs> there are many reasons why people lose money. But let us take one step behind. I went to my dentist. I had uh, I had one implant which was giving me some trouble. And this young uh, kid of a dentist, she checked my teeth and she found gaps. She found food lodgements, etc. And uh, she said a lot of your teeth have uh, deteriorated. And uh, so obviously I said why. And uh, she said. Uh, you know, bad hygiene, bad, poor habits, and and I thought I was brushing my teeth twice a day and blah blah blah, uh, but she said no. But you've not been flossing, you've not been wash, uh, gargling, or maybe you've not been uh, uh, using a mouthwash. Whatever be the reasons, largely the reason is I have not been flossing. My wife does it very well, and uh, I don't do it. That's all. So. Whenever you go to a professional, they tell you what is wrong with you. Like I go to a dietitian, she'll tell me why I'm eating too much carbs and not eating enough protein. <clears throat> I have a dietitian advisor, and she really, she's really good. She's well educated, and you know all that. And what she says is right. I have had a bad, disciplined uh, food regimen. Now, when I look at people's financial life, I look at it and say, "Oh my God, this guy's got poor financial habits." Of course, he has poor financial habits. I have poor oral hygiene habits. I have poor food eating habits. I have a poor health lifestyle habit. Right? It's a habit. I have got to break that habit. So, what are the habits which you need to break? First. Stop procrastination. Learning about money it does not matter whether you are a lawyer or a chartered accountant or a, a doctor or anything. In fact, in her talk, Suchita Dalal says there are chartered accountants who have invested in Anugrah Jewelers. Of course, chartered accountants are invested. Have invested. Chartered accountants are not taught anything about personal finance. Very many chartered accountants can't uh, spell risk. Uh, and uh, they can do disastrous thing there are bankers uh, very very senior bankers uh, who will come and ask me that subra i know 12% per annum which uh, the bank relationship manager promised you could not be got but uh, can't i get 9% per annum uh, for the so for how long a period for 40 years give me a break you're such a senior guy working in a bank do you think anybody can tell you over next 40 years whether you can get 9% or 12% you got to be joking right so first stop procrastination learning about money you cannot you have to understand the basics you have to understand the relationship between inflation demand for money supply of money how the economy is doing you need to understand all those things at least understand the basics understand uh, mutual funds understand banking you cannot outsource all these things right if somebody says give me your uh, give me your shares put your shares here and i will give you 12% per annum at least have the brains to ask how are you earning 18% or 20% that you want to give me 12% people don't even ask this when you make a bank deposit at least find out whether there it's really genuine a bank Tomorrow, if I put Subra Bank, you won't even know whether this is true. So you put money in a cooperative bank. We have no clue what it does. Why did you put it? Because it's in the same building which you live, or it's in the neighboring building. It's so convenient. These are ridiculous reasons to part your money with. You cannot part your money with because somebody tells you last three years he has been giving me good returns. Well, I have a friend who's crossing the tracks for the last fifty-five years. Does it mean track crossing the track is not risky? You got to be joking, right? So first. Step one: Learn about money, or you're going to lose lot, lot more money. You're going to lose money in a PMC. You're going to lose money in Anugrah Jewelers. You're going to lose your share deposits in Carvi. Everything. And why would you deal with somebody like uh, Carvi for other things? And because I met somebody who deals with Carvi for something, and I said. They are the same people who got into trouble. So she tells me, "Ha, ah, that is okay, but my depository is not with Carvi. Look, you know that the right hand was wrong. Now don't try telling me that the left hand can't do mistakes. Tomorrow you will find something else going wrong. In this country, where frauds are rarely brought to light, what comes to light is maybe one in twenty-five frauds. 
you why do you still want to continue with a guy who has been proven to be fraudulent in one part of his life would you go and invest in harshad mehta mutual fund or ketan parekh mutual fund today or a crb mutual fund i still do not know whether the crb mutual fund has been sorted out but yes would you do that and why would you would you go and put money in satyam today in the old format with the old management right so stop giving excuses start learning about money uh don't get into debt without a thought if you and your wife are going to be repaying the loan and uh, something happens to one of the incomes i mean it could be a happy thing right your wife gets pregnant and she is told that she has to take bed rest so that income stops so think before you do anything be in the know of what you are doing you want to borrow you borrow see how much you can borrow ultimately try to live your life on one income and completely save stroke invest the other one so that if one of the income stops you still know how to live and if the income continues your retirement corpus or your uh, any other goal corpus is getting ready faster don't depend on both salaries completely and borrow up to your uh, eyebrows and then say oh but this covid covid is not the problem something like covid was happening in my life every year in the last four decades that i have been investing and in harshad mehta happened a ketan parekh happened something or the other happens every 10 years i was amazed at the timing it happened uh, so in in the last 10 uh, years it had to happen it has happened in 2000 and uh, 20 right 2010 to 2020 we needed something like this i knew something like this would happen i'm not saying covid would have happened but i knew something like this was, would happen and that's the time when you have to sit calm if you don't learn about money if you don't if you have too much debt if you have too much debt you have you will know all the theory but not be able to do it right because you have to repay the money and if you think that the uh, equity markets will give you money to pay your emi again go back to point number 1 go and learn your money again you have not learned it at all spend less than what you earn children from big family from rich families who have uh, just gone and got themselves a degree to go and sit in their dad's hospital do not even understand how a hospital is run do not understand how their life is run they did not understand how they got the degree right so they overspend they make a mess and then the business and the personal life are a mess so first learn to live on what you are earning or maybe learn to live on 85% on what you are learning or uh, what you are earning and so that the remaining 15% gets uh, invested right so do that procrastination of financial learning is the most expensive mistake you could be making so don't do that uh you trust your ifa great but the anugrah jewel uh, anugrah broker case uh is going to expose a lot of these advisors who have put in the client's money and their own money look at the guy who is leading you or the girl who is leading you to what they are making you do see from where they are earning their money right if you do not understand all that something is wrong with you do you need an investment advisor yes of course you need an investment advisor at the beginning of your career but after 5 years your investment advisor is just a sounding board i don't ask my advisor what to do i discuss with my advisor because he is absolute value add it's a 40 year relationship so he can tell me no you don't understand this this is not the way it works so we will not do and i have to accept it or he will not execute the transaction that is the kind of trust we have on each other do i need him absolutely i need him can i go to somebody else and pay lesser brokerage i can get zero brokerage i have no problem i know enough brokers who will call me up and say okay sir i will do it to you for free brokerage but i still value this relationship i have never ever questioned how much money he makes on my transactions but i have never ever suspected that he's done a transaction to uh, benefit himself and hurt me so that is the kind of trust that you have to develop in your financial advisor in your chartered accountant if you don't have that kind of a trust something is wrong with you but having had the trust and having an advisor after 5 years he should just be a sounding board uh, you can maybe negotiate what he should earn and what you should be paying him but don't think that sounding board does not have value many people who have lost money are because they are with this uh, 
लो एंड ब्रोकरेज हाउसेज और ज़ीरो ब्रोकरेज और वॉट एवर फाइव पैसे टेन पैसे ट्वेंटी पैसे आई डोंट नो ऑल दोज प्लेसेज वेर यू गिवन एन आर एम हु विल सक द ब्लड आउट ऑफ यू राइट सो आई नो एन एट्टी ईयर ओल्ड मैन और एटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड मैन लूजिंग मनी इन द मार्केट बिकॉज ही डिड एफ एंड ओ एंड हु पुष्ट मिन टू एज एफ एंड ओ हिज रिलेशनशिप मैनेजर हु सेट दर इज नथिंग एट रिस्क यू कैन राइट कवर्ड कॉल्स डोंट बिलीव दिस देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड रिस्क आई रिम आई इंट्रैक्ट विद सम पीपल ऑन एन एस सी एल एंड दे से ओ वी वी गॉट चीटेड बाय दिस कंपनी अफकोर्स यू गॉट चीटेड बट इफ यू थॉट दैट ट्वेल्व परसेंट रिटर्न वॉज रिस्क फ्री when uh, said bank of india was paying 7.8% on their 3 year fd something is wrong with you you didn't understand the extra premium that you were paying for the risk that you were being asked to take right so now don't blame the regulator and everybody else for saying not taking enough action of course they should be taking action it's got nothing to do i'm sure they have to uh, probe the anugra case but look at the origin of why you lost money you lost money because of greed you didn't understand what you were doing somebody was giving you 12% per annum and you thought this was money for jam i have to do nothing i mean give me a break somebody who to give you 12 has to earn 18 right he is not giving out of his pocket uh many people do not know what is investing and they think because they bought a share they are an investor you are not an investor just because you bought a share they got a lot of learning to do and only then you become a uh, become a good investor or at least become an investor also understand one thing equity markets give return in a very lumpy way so you could have held a share for 9 years it would have given you 2% or 3% uh, return you would have had to take the jibes of everybody else saying what a stupid stock you have bought or what a stupid scheme in which you have invested and in the 10th year it could give you such a huge percentage that all the 9 years uh, problem is forgotten and vice versa you could go and invest in a mutual fund which gives you some 200 300% return over the next 12 13 months and after that for 10 years doesn't give you anything which means one in one it was uh, back uh, ended in one it was front ended returns can be up uh, front ended or back ended look at the japanese market last uh, what 30 years it has done nothing but do remember the 20 years prior to that it did well so if you entered the uh, japanese market sometime in the 1960s believe me you have not done too badly but if you entered in 1990 you've got nothing you've only seen it going down and your sips will hurt you more and more right so this upfronting can happen over a 5 year period or over a 10 year period or a 15 year period the only thing which works in equity is to create a portfolio and to be at it for a pretty long period of time i am surprised when i am on tv people come and ask me do saal se sip kar raha hu aur abhi bhi negative hai there is no guarantee that two year sips have to be in the black there is no guarantee that even a 10 year sip has to be in the black historically going by evidence in india over 10 year periods very very unlikely that you will lose money especially if you do an sip right uh not saving enough not investing enough i am not getting into those things those are obviously there uh the other problem is some people are very aggressive while they invest they put all their money in equity without understanding much without understanding their own behavior which means they're going to get it get into trouble at some stage there are others who are very conservative and would do a, on a 15 20 lakh salary would do a 5000 rupee sip in equity and keep all the other balance in bank fixed deposits both are bad over aggressive is bad and over defensive is bad over defensive means you will never be able to retire especially if you are an employee if you are an industrialist or a businessman then things are different but if you are an employee and you do not invest uh, aggressively uh, chances are uh, you will not be able to retire having said that it is possible that you get esop in a very good company and that itself uh, helps you to retire if you got esop uh, maybe in the 1990s in hdfc bank or in infosys etc of course you would have made a lot of money but other than that but that is also investment right but that may be the only investment that you have that is a super concentrated investment if you had come to me earlier i would have said sell off hdfc bank sell off infosys and put money into mutual funds diversify your portfolio 
but you didn't diversify so you were benefited by a huge mistake that was concentration risk i would never allow you to take that kind of concentration risk if i were your advisor but the thing is you took that risk and you benefited so now you can talk about how you were a genius and you had a concentrated portfolio but that you have to look at it as you were lucky right so i also see people accumulate money uh, accumulate bills like credit card bills with every small purchase being done in that and asking where should i invest my money boss the smartest investment you can do is go and learn about money and make sure that when you have debt outstanding you do not invest